All right, well, a lot can change between now and November, but eight months out, Virginia Senator Tim Kaine has a substantial lead in a new poll. And yeah, the CNU Wasson Center survey shows a Democrat with a double digit lead over all Republican rivals. Mike Gooding tells us one figure could loom large even if his name is not on the ballot. We're going to try. I think Tim Kaine is looking good, according to a new Christopher Newport University Wasson Center for Public Policy poll of 1,562 voters conducted February 5th through 28th. The Democrat comes out substantially ahead in hypothetical matchups against each of the leading Republican candidates, beating state delegate Nick Freitas by 23 percentage points and Minister E.W. Jackson and former Trump for President Virginia campaign chairman Corey Stewart by 24 percentage points. This, in one sense, is what you would expect to see for an incumbent senator at, at, of any name and any party at any time, because uh, voters don't really know anything about the other um, people. Among those GOP hopefuls, Stewart is preferred by just 16 percent of Republican voters. The other three candidates are in the single digits, and a whopping 66 percent are undecided. CNU's Rachel Bittacoffer notes they are all low-name recognition outsider candidates. The reason that there really isn't a like Republican standard bearer in this race uh, is because they didn't feel they had great odds of being able to topple Kane in this type of political environment. Perhaps the biggest factor in November will be President Trump, who is very unpopular according to the poll. The real problem is, is that he has a 52 percent strongly disapprove rating. He's very popular still among Republican voters, and of course that's who participates in a party primary. But the problem is then you go on to a general electorate that is not uh, favorable of Donald Trump here in the Commonwealth. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.